until the Lord until death do them part. So I've seen that. So don't be discouraged, okay? So dear future husband, if you are among them mm, and you are discouraged, come. I won't do that to you and welcome back to another video for the past few days past few videos i've been talking about relocation and i've been saying a lot about moving abroad and moving back to africa so that has made people to send me messages my dm is full my whatsapp is also full a lot of people have different things to tell me but the one that i want to start with is this i'm going to be reading it from my phone is one of those first few people that found my channel on youtube and stick with me since then till now he have this to say hi lily please i beg you in the name of god if you're making up to 600 dollars a month on your youtube channel please don't ever think of moving abroad i beg you except for a visit um i don't make that much okay so that's to answer the question and if you are concerned and you want to be like oh why don't you look for a regular job that can pay you if youtube is not paying that much why are you spending time here mm, the answer to that is i can't because i don't think there's a job in town that will give me the kind of freedom that i have now to be able to be around my kids especially from time to time because if anybody will give me a job right now and pays me like 500 or 800 or 1000 cities a month it means i'll have to give all my time to that job my kids don't have any other person in their lives so it means me waking up early going or getting them ready for school let's say the job gives me time to start by nine or eight then i'll get my kids ready they go to school then i will leave then by the time i come back they they definitely will be asleep by then and out of that one thousand i want to put it like that but nobody earns that amount i beg you nobody earns that much except maybe it's a government job or a private job like that of banking you know or maybe a private hospital a private something oil and gas yeah they earn more money but i'm talking about a regular job for a foreigner i'm not a nurse that's okay being a nurse would have been easy for me to get a job so I'd, i'm not a professional in any field so it means me going out to look for minor job like any job regular job like so but if i'm very lucky to get a job that pays me a thousand cities definitely i will have no time for my kids and out of that thousand cities i'm going to be paying my way to work every single day of the week except for sundays and i will definitely i can't do youtube i can't combine the two nobody does that and succeed that is youtube for you ask for the maya so yeah there are people who focus on it and it still didn't work out i know but you see youtube you won't get a ching bang from it because of the amount of work that is required here for you to be able to get anything from it so I don't make up to that and i'm not in a hurry but i know that one day i'll make more than that one of my videos will make me that but for now i don't so if i have a chance to go to europe i'll go another person sent me a message again and i'll read it because there's a lot to learn in it hi lily how are you sometimes when you complain on your channel about struggling it hurts me so bad not that i don't feel it i feel it but it hurts me because i wish i could help but i can't i am from ghana by leaves i won't mention the country and then so i came home some time ago and i got married okay and i took my beloved wife with me to the country where i live because i'm resident there so i could bring a spouse so i sponsored her to my country of residence and then i few months later she didn't even hold on a few months later we had issues and then she called the police on me and the case was taken to court for assault lily trust me you don't know me yet but trust me the me that you have been chatting with will never assault anybody not to talk of a woman 
So, but she insisted our assault her. And of course, we are in a country where women are almost always right. So there is nothing much I can do. The only way I can prove my innocence is in the court. So I have to go to court to prove that all the accusations are all false. And that means money. Lily, I have... You see, it hurts me that some of these monies I could easily send to you and also send to people in Ghana to survive because I know how our country is. It's not a joke, but I use this money to go to court, like pay my lawyers. It is so heartbreaking. This is someone I brought. She has nothing. I brought her here. And then all of a sudden, she turned against me. It's not like... I'm the demanding type, but she just felt like she just changed overnight. I hope that one day you'll be able to go to the abroad <laughs> and see things. You think, yeah, we plug monies on threes. <laughs> okay, well, that is chapter one. Let me go to two. You know, we have a lot of people living here that have helped families to move to where we are. I won't mention. So, but you spend a lot of money to help someone cross over. And then when they do get there... They wouldn't want to work and ref at least support you to be able to pay back the monies you spent on them. By the time you want them to do that, you become an enemy. It is just so crazy. And I think you are not talking about this. And sometimes I feel like you should talk about issues like this. Do research and talk about issues like this. Okay. Talk about it. It's very important. All right, I hope that you do have a good day, my dear Lily, and we'll talk another time as I have to go to work right now. Oh, okay. So I've addressed the $600 per month salary, right? <laughs> it's not like I've not made that amount of money before on YouTube. I have, okay? Yeah, especially when I first got to Ghana the first month, you know, last year, I made way more than that to be able to fix myself up. But it's not something I, I get all the time. So I've addressed that. Now, let's talk about the second person that talked about the woman he married from Ghana, who later did that to him. So the first thing I wanted to know is if this person is capable of assaulting a woman. But from all indications, it's possible that he never assaulted her because eh, he did not assault her. It's just she wanting to find reasons to move because already she already have like infidelity issues going on, but he was ready to take it. He believes she would change, but she went on to, you know, to still fight for, I mean, get him arrested and all that. So right now she have already filed for a divorce and the case is in court. He is broken. Like, so this is a... Sometimes people don't want to. So, sisters, how true is this? Not all of you, because I know a lot of African women, both Ghanaian and Nigerian women, that were taken abroad by their husbands who came home, married them, and bring them over. Some of them don't even come home. They send a family member to represent them. It's very common in my country. Represent after the wedding, you will go join your husband. It is okay. It is right. It is like a lot of people do that and they live happily ever after. Some women become even like I've seen a lot of Nigerian women that would say, oh, my husband is everything to me. My husband is the reason I'm here. I have a good life. But I've heard stories like this where men will bring their wives and they get their make money because they are jobs opportunity here things that they will only really take here in ghana or in nigeria that's okay let me take mm, ah, men are the same over there my sister some of you don't take it and you are doing us bad is it good so uh, but i want everybody to know that there are women like that okay you don't have to give up okay bro um People are funny. Like, how can you do that to someone that helped you? But it's fine. Sometimes you guys, you have to pay attention to the person you want to marry. It's not about how they treat you in that relationship. It's about how they treat the people, like carefully, how they treat the people around them. Be it where you hang out, be it just how they treat other people around you. So if someone is treating you right at a certain point, 
is maybe because the person needs your loyalty or need or is the person is in love and is acting based on that he or she is acting based on that then when the love is no longer there they will show you the true color and you may not like it the best way to see that person's true color is by paying attention to how they treat the people around them the young vulnerable kids the neighbors the family members her friends his friends or just how they talk to people when you go out. So it's very important when you do that, okay? Because <laughs> some ladies don't have the fear of God. There was a case of a Nigerian lady who got to Italy by anyhow. Getting to Italy after some time, after some years of suffering and cannot walk because there are no documents for her to be able to walk an italian man fell in love married her and that marriage helped to fasten the whole documents issue and then she got a job everything was going on good and then she said she was coming to africa to visit her family only for her to come here get wedded with the father of her children because she have two kids already in nigeria they got married and they were doing the paper so the baby daddy and or her now husband like second husband like she has two husband at a go so that that one will come with the kids when she goes back she's going back to work again support send their tickets when he eventually work because now she's resident there so she came back and she has a friend who knows the story from the beginning how the italian man had really helped her and according to her friend her friend said she tried to discourage her from doing this to the italian husband but she refused so that her friend went on to tell her italian husband that her friend that visit she went to africa is to go marry go with the father of her kids and she'll be bringing them to italy so very soon and the man confronted his wife when she return and she didn't deny she said yes he should do his worst in fact she's done with the marriage she want to divorce she wanted a divorce so she can be free so the man couldn't take it it's not everybody that can take things like this okay so the man what he did is he went to invest on weapon of destruction and he ended it you know he sent her like he the whole thing ended in tragedy it hurts bad that he did that but i will understand why he did it okay not everyone can take some things so when we are dealing with people some people are soft when you do them you see like that my ghanaian brother whom i just read his message is gentle and able to it's not easy for him sometimes he's really depressed like this thing gets to him but he's willing to fight until he gets himself back but the Italian man couldn't. He had to like fight and he fought the wrong way. And it ended in tragedy. She is gone. He is in prison. And I hope that someday um, they will release him because uh, it's a waste of two people. Now, the baby daddy and her kids in Nigeria can't come to Italy through how the person that's supposed to sponsor them is no more. Sometimes we act and forget this man is aware that this woman has kids all she needed to do is go there and bring her kids yeah if you are still in a relationship with someone back in nigeria don't judge me okay do not judge me if, you, if she believes she's still in love with this man she left behind she shouldn't have committed herself in the first place with the other man or the best way to do it is okay i can't marry you but we can be together help or something just let the person know what's up because sometimes it's not everybody that can deal with that you use them you package you use them do everything you achieve your goal and now you want to discard them so you feel like being in prison is not a bad thing rather than him being here and see you excel and happy so when we are dealing with people we should be careful my sisters in case you have that maybe you're watching this video and you're, you are that type change the things that we would take in africa here we should learn to take it over there okay as women because it's not the best for me i don't mind if i get someone to like we get married and of course if he lives that way we we'll go if he lives here we we'll, we'll stay 
but in case someone I don't like someone that stays there and you want to marry me and it's okay my wife you want to come I'll say yes I want to go there not because I want to use him yes why not I would like to use my husband yeah use him to achieve some goals like to be able to maybe if I go to a country that permits me, if I'm if I get the papers to be able to get a job or to to be able to do to support my family, to support my kids, it will reduce the burden on my husband, right? It's his it's his duty to take care of me, but I think it's my duty to take care of my children, to help him, to support him. And um but I wouldn't say, okay, it's something I want to do just with the sole aim of I want to marry with the sole aim of getting abroad so then when i get there it's not good there is a place called nemesis and this is why i'm saying i'm congratulating this our Ghanaian brother for the way he's taking it it's not revenging but sometimes it's really hard for him as a matter of fact like i'll be on the phone i want to talk to him he just can't talk like he sometimes it's okay let me let's talk like talking to me sometimes is like therapy because i talk and talk and talk and i tell him he, he want to know if maybe there's something with all he has said there's something he didn't do right i assured him that he's doing the right thing because he didn't just see how the whole thing is he never any day said okay i will deal with her he never said that he's even saying that like if she just left him without getting him into this court case issues, maybe he didn't even know the implication of that, making him spend so much money. Like if she even left the marriage, like I'm not doing it again, it would have been better for him rather than take him to court and make him spend monies that he was supposed to use to support himself and people back home. So I get it. But look at the Italian man. He, you, you, will I say overreacted? This kind of thing. Did he overreact? I feel bad. He shouldn't have done that because he have done himself dirty. He's in prison right now and the lady is no more. And I don't know, maybe one day you will heal. One day he's going to heal and he's going to be like, ah, I wish I never did it. The reason I'm saying this is because I have had to deal with people that offended me in the past. Now, let me tell you guys a story. Don't judge me. But there was this guy that I met who happened to be my friend back in the days. He was a friend. You know, we met through Facebook, became friends. And then after some time we met in real life, he never told me he was married, he told me, a lot about himself like there's someone i've been following like i know his village because he used to take pictures and all that he didn't tell me that he was married and then he made me date him then i find out i found out in a way that i didn't like and when i told him there was no remorse and even i told him i'm going to tell the wife like i've looked for her he never posts his wedding picture nothing how i managed to trace this will shock you so I discovered it and I told him I was going to talk to the wife about it. I'm going to report him that I'm going to make her to force him to start posting their relationship on Facebook to save other women. Like, I'm hot. He said, I should get her. I should go and do my worst. I want to go down to it. I should do my I should please go on ahead and do it. So he dared me and then I went on ahead to report him to the wife. I don't know what happened after then. But guess what? When I healed, I regretted my actions. And I reached out to want to go and apologize. I wanted to go apologize to him for what I have done. Only for me to discover that he has passed away. He was no longer alive because I tried through his Facebook page. I went to his friends uh, list. I made friends with the contact you want to know someone use facebook if you're looking for anyone the best place to do like you want to talk to someone about you want to talk to other people about someone facebook is very easy so i tried 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 and then they said he has passed on to glory he was no more so up to date i couldn't apologize i don't know how what happened but he's no longer alive so that is why i'm saying the italian man would definitely wish he never did it not because he has been sent to prison but because you will just wake up one day and a lot of the things that people have done to you mean nothing because you have completely healed now it will be you blaming yourself for what you have done to them you see my point so 
I don't wish anybody to find themselves in such situation. I have seen beautiful marriages, both in Ghana and in Nigeria. People come home, marry these women, take them there. They work, build a life in Africa. They retire together and come home, live here peacefully, leave their kids over there to continue with life. And they have a beautiful life. Like, you know, they live together until, until death do them part. So I've seen that. So don't be discouraged, okay? So dear future husband, if you're among them, mm, and you're discouraged, come. I won't do that to you. All right. So thank you for watching this video. And um, I'm done here. I'll see you in my next one. Ciao.